What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Over here. Just on my screen six in this video here again today. Starting off, firstly, we need to talk about Gail Weathers because Courtney Cox has arrived on set. I put out a tweet earlier today to recognize that. Shout out to you, Eric. I know you've been sharing a lot of details with us out there in Montreal as it pertains to what's going on on set when you are able to get some shots of stuff. And Courtney Cox, yes, is on set. It looks like what she was on set doing was shooting a scene with Jenna Ortega and Melissa Barrera's character, Sam and Tara Carpenter. What I can only assume is happening after a death sequence has occurred. Um, going off of some of the earlier stuff that, that have been shot, most likely this is after a party that's occurred and, you know, someone must have died at this party. Now, if I'm betting who died at that party, going off of Jasmine's recent photo, um, with her i think her and her and jenna i think were present in that photo with like blood on the hand i know jenna was rocking like the scar i guess to represent the attack from the opening i'm guessing chad bit the dust at this party so we'll see how that plays out and the other stuff that was happening on set was she was rocking gail weathers that being she's rocking this blue blazer uh, or a blue suit so can't wait to see her in that she did look amazing from what i was able to make out <laughs> and i think she had on like these green heels to match it uh so already a good look so far look like she's gonna top her look in screen five can't wait to see what gail weathers brings to the table in screen six can't wait to see what she does can't wait to see how she gets factored into the into the narrative and i do want to point out this the shot of her on set has a has a uh you can clearly see that tara carpenter is present jenna ortega is present in an attire though that she had worn already in another block of filming so i guess this is a sign to me that they are indeed shooting out of order given the fact that courtney just arrived on set so there's probably a necessity to shoot out of order going off of the schedule and the time that you have available with certain stars um so it seems more than likely that they again are shooting this movie out of order well, just going off of the fact that i see jenna ortega present in an outfit that she already wore during another block of filming and of course, considering the fact that Hayden is not there, we don't know what part Hayden's gonna actually show up at in the movie. Uh, most likely she will be in the opening. Don't think she's gonna die though, going off of Hayden's recent comics. She might, she's most likely gonna make it out alive. Doesn't mean she's gonna be in the opening either, but we'll see how that all goes down. Now, the other thing that was revealed a few days ago was the fact that there is a theater location that has like stab posters hanging in it, as you see here on your screen. And a lot of people have been speculating what's going on here. Now, I have seen people talk about the fact that maybe Mindy is like a theater major. So maybe one of them are theater majors. Maybe two of them are theater majors at this college campus that they're attending college at. That's the assumption too, that they're in college now. Since they left Woodsboro, we know that Tara and her friends are essentially leaving high school on, on the verge of leaving high school. So now they're going to be in college, of course, a la Scream 2. And I know people are like, oh, this is just Scream 2 all over again. I don't really think it's going to be Scream 2 all over again as much as it, of course, will have homages to Scream 2. Now, what you had going on in Scream 2 as it pertains to theater is Sydney, who I guess was a theater major. I think that was her major. And we know she was going to be in a production that we saw having a few moments where she was talking to her professor uh who was also someone who was very supportive of her during the second movie and we know that she was again on stage performing a, performing as a character in this play that i guess they were going to put on so what i'm thinking is happening here in scream six is what if mindy who i'm thinking of is a theater major and they have turned the stab movies maybe going off an idea that mindy proposed in class decided to turn the stab movies into on stage plays and the only reason there there are posters out there are in reference to what their play is based off of so of course they're going to have posters hanging hanging out there people are going to come in get to attend a on stage play recreation of the stab movies if they're interested in that and again this could be a whole idea that was brought up in class by mindy herself and that's what's going on in this theater location doesn't have to mean that our finale is going to occur in the theater location if it does it does it doesn't mean that they are going to recreate the opening of screen two uh doesn't mean that there's necessarily i guess a stabathon going on there but on and all in all if they are somehow able to do something where it's like a giant re-release because i shout out to you salem salem because i know you mentioned this in our group chat if they are doing like let's say even a gigantic re-release of the original stab movie to honor that maybe they have some stars from the original movie present tori spelling actually did i guess have some comments where she stated she would return to the screen franchise um we know she plays sydney prescott in the stab series in the screen movie 
movies. So maybe there's a re-release going on of the original Stab movie and something's going on at that venue in New York in honor of that. Maybe it has something to do with Gail Weathers and her getting some recognition because of her association with the Stab franchise and what that first movie book is based off of or what the first movie is based off of considering her book that she wrote. And it could be something like that. And that's why those stab posters are out there just to pay homage to the original movie and, and the sequels that came after it. But it could be just a gigantic re-release of that original stab movie. I'm leaning more towards, though, Mindy proposed the idea in her class that they should do onstage plays of stab. Now, I did see a few people also bring up what if it's a musical uh musical stab performances i don't think are going to be something many people in the fandom would want to see and if you do that i hope it's not something that takes up a lot of screen time because i feel like that's just not gonna go over well on screen how i'm imagining it anyway it could end up being great to see musical recreations of, of the stab movies on as on stage play musicals i just don't see that going over well and if it is something that's factored in hopefully it's very minor and minimal and not something that has a lot of screen time to take your audience out of whatever terrifying experience you're hoping to put them through <laughs> um i do believe that that's that that theater location is just going to be a place that they go to and i do believe there's a chance that mindy just a theory of mine mindy has decided to convince her class if she's in the class like that especially knowing that she's a big stab fan she's convinced the class to explore on-screen plays of the stab movies and that's what's happening they've been doing they've been doing all the stab movies it looks like they might be doing stab three going off of what i can just making assumptions off of what was shown in that room outside of the glass from the picture someone took maybe they're on the stab three on 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 stage play production and that's what's going on i i, I believe that's what's going to happen i do it could be something else completely or it could just be an abandoned theater location that somebody walks past and there's just stab posters inside them. It could be nothing but that. We'll see what happens when Scream 6, of course, releases in theaters next March. And again, Gail Weathers, Courtney Cox herself is on set. Um, I think she also has Shining Veil shooting this summer. So it's interesting to see how that sh how she's going to work all that out. But of course she will. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video